Welcome everybody. Let's start the designing. Finally, after studying that much, start designing this Kelpie creature I've got. As always, it's a bunch of reference you cannot see. Uh, on my other screen and I will try to explore a few poses to start with. So I want, as always, this to be an RPG creature so it's facing that direction. That's where our heroes will be. So let's start with something. I'm gonna go a little linear maybe this time. So instead of blobbing things in, I'm gonna start Doing a little more layer, let's see. Um, let me start with something. Could have different mouths, like it's not just like horse, but I think a little more weird. Something odd like that, maybe start with. Start out very weird. So this is actually maybe maybe even open. That. Hey Chase, welcome. How are you? That's sort of weird main. I gotta warm up just a little bit, so these are gonna be very, very rough. Was working on the book last night and writing a scene about a manticore. Would be cool if you did a sketch on it. A manticore? That would be cool. I don't think I've ever drawn a manticore. Uh, the first time I think, I think the first time I encountered a manticore was in Age of Mythology. Uh, many, 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 many years ago. <laughs> These could actually be The one I created is a bit different. It has a lion type body and a scorpion tail, but the head is more like a king cobra. That's pretty cool. Ah, I want a copy of the book when it comes out. I've been reading um, some Norse mythology stuff. Uh, you know Neil Gaiman? So, um, quite a lot into monsters right now <laughs> and uh, mythological things.
Yeah, he wrote Sandman, yep. Uh, I'm not sure if I mistake him for someone else, but I think he might have written Stardust several years ago. Could be. They uh, made a movie out of it. I'm pretty sure it was him, though I'm not. Might be confusing for someone else. Let's make it. This is too hard. Yeah, it was him. Cool. I actually really like that movie. Uh, it's not, you know, pretentious. It's 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 not The Lord of the Rings, but uh, I I thought it was pretty fun as a fantasy movie. Good, they had airships and all this stuff. <laughs> It was pretty nice. I haven't read the book yet, but I might at some point. We just finished The Time of the Warlock by Larry Neven. How is it? Never heard, I admit. I stole behind with books in general because uh, I didn't have much time to read when I was in Japan. So I'm accepting uh, advice. <laughs> Very interesting series of stories set in a world where magic is powered by mana and mana is slowly fading away. Make sure but that actually might. Um let's see right here. No, I got I got notes on the other. Oh I can't copy okay, I'll do it later. So magic is dying, mythical creatures disappear with it. So unicorns turn into normal horses and such. Cool. I think it's symbolic of oil reserves. Hmm. Well, general fantasy has always been used uh, symbolically, or at least that's what it was born for. <laughs> As far as I know. Which was kind of a symbolism of Final Fantasy VII with Mako energy, yeah. My lines are squiggly again. It's time for Lazy Nazumi. I'm gonna remember at some point. It used to be automatic, that's why I forget sometimes because I had a Photoshop plugin, but um, since when I changed the version of Photoshop, it's not really happening anymore. This could be this could be more of a a cat with this kind of this kind of
I would like to add some of those splashes and backs like the, the monsters I'm currently working on. The bigger ones. I'm thinking of um, incorporating some of those designs into into the uh, RPG monsters in there. It's not too bad as opposed. Oh yeah, I like the line art you did. Cool, you like it. Yeah, I'm spending a little longer, as you noticed, on the line art, but I think it's worth it for these. Even if this is possible for a horse. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think it's got all this possibility for twisting. Not to derail the Kelpie, but what was the grand blue design you based the tornado off of? Right. It was. Hold on. Uh, so, oh, where is it? Oh, wait a second, I've got to reopen uh, Pure Red. Let's see if I can open a new window. Uh, there are two, actually. So, this one. Let's see. So, one was... Oh, not this. Let's see. With this kind of thing. Uh, here. But it, I didn't like this. This is a wheel, it's not a tornado. And so I had another one that's not going to open now because of Google Drive again, since it's stuck. Uh, but it was something like this, like the top one here. It was just a little more tornado-ish or a little more whirlwind-ish, I guess. So this is what I use, more or less. It's going to look a little better in this, though. I don't like the, the glassy look this one has. I prefer this one, at the top one. This is kind of like what it's gonna look like. Like. <laughs> so this, this kind of greenish blue, aqua green blue. I'm thinking of doing it this way, if that's okay for you. Oh, interesting. I was looking through the designs trying to figure it out. Yeah. Um, I take, I really like the way they do some effects. Like not all of them, like the green one disc, the, the disc one, that's kind of borderline, nah, for me. Um, but I like some others. Like for the Kelpie, I would like to use, uh, can I copy this? This as a reference as well, like this sort of effect put it somewhere in the design. Uh, maybe splashing or swirling around, something like that. It kind of helps. Uh, it's one of the elements I like about Grand Blue that kind of gives this more... Um... Oh, I had this one too for the character element, uh, like this. And I also use kind of all of these swirl swirlies to inform that Tornado thing. They have a lot of characters that do these things, so. I like the idea. So for the horse here, Kelpie, might as well use some of those. Hey Bob, welcome to Twitch. <laughs> Probably get a better experience out of Twitch compared to YouTube. <laughs> uh, I gotta close this one on now. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
Let's just rob the young. We don't need it. How are you, Bob? Try the other side for now. It's not, I could have horns. And like a unicorn, something like that. Doing good, man. Glad to be able to catch your stream today. What are you working on? Um, Kelpie. Uh, it's uh, basically a sort of water horse demon. Kind of a shapeshifter. From Scottish mythology, I think. But Chase might correct me on this. Scottish or Irish? I think it's Scottish. Scottish, yep. Very cool, applying your horse studies then. Yep, that's why I did it. That's that's the whole reason why I, I did some more horse studies. I don't even know if I want to start with the shape of a horse here. Gems in the back. Technically, Loch Ness is a type of Kelpie, but it's usually drawn as a plesiosaur type of thing. Yeah, that's true. This is starting to look awfully similar to the Hydra design I did a few years ago. <laughs> we have some spikes like this. Not even two, I know. Two worms? The eyes to look kind of dead. It could, you could see maybe parts of the skull here as well at some point. We got seaweed around here. This is a little more simple. I like the dynamism of this one, but I don't know. It's twisting a little too much. This is lame, it's the first one I did. <laughs> it's pretty lame. Still a little too horsey. Hmm. Hopefully by today we'll have um Decent design we can use. Let's see what kind of. I'm also using the Nightmare Monster from Final Fantasy as a reference, obviously. I don't know if I wanted to feel very feel like forcing to act. Uh, no, I like the first first sign you did there, but I don't think it works for the Kelpie. Oh, this? Yeah, definitely. It's just, it's just a horse. It could be a flaming horse. Hmm. Let's see. It doesn't have to feel like a boss. It's just, it, it's kind of easy to overdo it because it's the Kelpie. To me, at least, sounds like a little more of 
a larger monster because horses are large but I think so I gotta be careful I like this 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 one with half marlin swordfish thing but it needs some work that's too simple so yeah it's a medium-sized monster kind of like the um the octopus so i've got the starfish and the jellyfish which are pretty small then the uh, kelpie and the octopus which are medium then i need another one and then the boss it's going to be a leviathan probably going to do it as a type, uh, type of whale though not the classic final fantasy serpent we'll see so um let's go I want to be able to use but I don't know who well, are these for your portfolio or for a specific job these are uh, technically for portfolio so I'm, I'm still gonna sell them as monster packs or in monster packs on itch, you know, like the, the packs I usually upload on itch. The idea of school. So I guess it's gonna need it's gonna need reference. <laughs> you should link to your itch on here. I should. I didn't do it in the first place because I did not find an icon for it. Um yeah, but I should definitely do it if someone is interested in buying monster packs. Be assertive about what if I do want some kind of main because it's indicative. Something like this. You can link it. You can link to it in your account with the other links since it's right below the video. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, I just wanted to have a banner for it. And because I didn't find it when I, it was I think Sunday when I added the other links. I mean, in the description. Or you mean that the main thing on Twitch? I could do that too. I just didn't think about it back then. Uh, when I did the first ones and when I did it on Sunday, I was like, okay, to give it a nice cycle. Then find it. So. Yeah, I should add some other things too. Like I, I did not have alerts for subs or follows, which I really should have.
similar to that I would not quite just see. Random people can come in and love these designs and not realize they can buy them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also have some pixel art ones. Actually, I'm probably going to send them to you. Um, I don't... They are uh, one bit, so... Black and white only. Um, I was thinking of selling them. I just don't know if there's a market for them, so I just take some time and add uh, some kind of presentation for them. This is not too bad. Hey, I like this one. I don't know if it's a bit more like a boss, but might need some adjustments in terms of Yeah, I think one of the legs needs to go up. Even if they are like just white or black, they are 32 pixels square. Something like that. Nah. Do that. Eh, we'll see. I still like this one. Maybe. Ideas down first. Hmm. Maybe I just ride as a horse. <laughs> Just a normal horse. <laughs> Let's see, if it's in the deck of a ship... You just have a um, fishy tail with the other limbs too. No, this looks like something else. Hey, Mr. John Cheese! Look who it is, it's the artist of mystical horse dragons, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Otani pixel art monsters? They're great. Um, it rings a bell. I might have, but I I could not tell right now. Like I, it kind of yeah. I think I did, but I, I'm not remembering what they are now. But I believe I did. John Cheese. Okay, should I just call you by name then? I can call you by name if you want. I don't know if you want it. Mr. John Cheese. <laughs> Sketches, by the way, thank you. Um, yeah, trying to figure out this horse thing. If you have any ideas, feel free to... Vice. Okay, let's let's try to keep it oops, more horse-ish. I don't have any rearing, rearing horse, rearing horse, um, in my references of memory a little bit. No, because it sounds like John Doe, and it makes me mysterious, like mysterious and unnamed. Yeah. Hi, we only use our professional names here except for me. Oh, I'm sorry, I can call you Industrial Media or Magic. <laughs> and I also call Bob, Bob. <laughs> That's his name. I do need a picture of it. Me too, I just forgot. Uh, the reference. No, but that would be that would be more like this. Something like this. Hmm. 
I use my real name, I'm old. <laughs> right. I'm old too. Uh, I feel older. I do actually. I feel like more tired usually. Gone are the days when I was a young Paul. <laughs> Always galloping around, healthy and powerful. Oh, by the way, Bob, uh, Emperor of Cheese here is a Watts student, actually. We met there at Watts. Your streams are retirement home. Kind of. I guess the overall age, the average age is pretty high. <laughs> hey, we're all going down that way. I'm a few seconds older as I write this, yeah. This is creepy, this looks like a horse. <laughs> this is like a sitting horse, like if we had a chair. It's a, it's a horse sitting and reading a newspaper. <laughs> oh, that I got right now. <laughs> He's on on the toilet actually. <laughs> this is a horse sitting on a toilet <laughs> and reading a newspaper <laughs> or reading, I don't know, comic books. <laughs> This is so lame. <laughs> uh, let's try this, like, something like this, probably. Alright. <laughs> yes, give it eye glass. Uh, he was in person, he was in person, Bob. Uh, uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> This is so lame. Uh, okay. Enough with that. Uh, that's not good. No, let me let me just look up a rearing horse. Because <laughs> my memory recall is pretty bad. Yes, well, uh, Bob was uh, in the online. Uh, I think he's. Uh, Bob, are you still um, doing the, um, uh, what's it called, um, like correcting assignments? I don't think this is good enough. At least not mean enough. I'm going to put it here on my side. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't think, okay, this is not good. Uh, I think something like this pose, maybe? This is huge, okay, something like <laughs> this. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, paste it into my references. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, good reference. Basically, just let's see. I start with a. I don't know if I want to start with a horse, but and these are maybe you could have spikes. Why? Where does it have to be? Or you could have the whole f fin. A little find it a little lame. One of the e Ethermon, uh, like Pokemon-like creatures I had designed for game. Um. They were like one of them was a uh, sail horse, <laughs> it was like a Kelpie, although it was a lot more cartoony, obviously, like way more cartoony. Ah, uh, this is 
No, I don't. Um, I don't like the standard rearing. Rearing. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It's it's rear, or rare. No, not rare. Rear. And my English sucks. Nah, this is pretty bad. I have the tail. Oof. It's, nah. It's gotta be something with the tilted head. Tilted head looks a lot more mean. Especially something like this. Maybe it's got, it's like a unicorn also. Or I could make a unicorn separate. Why not? You have some sort of spike here. Kind of like a Dilophosaurus. School has changed. I know one of the new teachers, Alana. Uh, she's really good. They got a couple new teachers at Watts now. We'll see. A new teacher? Oh, as I believe they do some students. Yeah, uh, she was a student, yeah. Yeah, I think Brian left. Um, uh, Lucas left. And um, Matt also left. But you knew that. Lucas, yeah, Lucas left over uh, two years ago. Lucas Graciano, yeah. Yeah, I think he's doing more card, uh, like magic card work now. As far as I could tell. Probably, actually, I think he left. Might have been September 2020. Could have been. I was supposed to meet him in Tokyo, actually. Um, in 2019. But then I, I had to move homes. So, I uh, didn't get a chance there. Well, he had a lot on his plate, so maybe it was that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's also managing his daughter, so it's good. I know for a fact that it is complicated here. If you have a family and also do art. He was blasting out pieces, though. Like, I remember that uh, Chimera piece that he brought. I think it was a D&D piece that he brought uh, at, at the school. That was insane. Oh, he mentioned it? Like, uh, about Tokyo? It's too much of a horse anyway. That's what happens when you use too much weapons. <laughs> Orsosaurus, no. So no token Carol can I and Jello shots under city lights. Yeah, that's right. No, I was always sick that year. 2019, awful, awful year for me. Let's see, can I manage this without like this? I'm staying too large. This should be 
very small so it doesn't take much this kind of looks like the dog a little bit I think it does look like oodles of fun. Um, uh, I guess. It was kind of underwhelming for me. Although I didn't visit it as much. That was still, what, five years ago? But I'm not a fan of cities or architecture, honestly. In general, I like natural environments much more. It's kind of a dragon horse, wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, it, if it stays, if it stays like this, yeah, this is too much for a dragon. So I might save the body. Oh, dude, I can agree. I like living in the outskirts where it's green, but the access to a city is easy. Yeah, right. That's kind of ideal. The best of both worlds. You don't like our kids? Ah. No, I mean, um, well, okay, I don't even, I don't, it, it's true, I don't enjoy drawing architecture as much. I wish I could do it better. Uh, no, that was not a critique on the, the uh, task I'm doing now for you. Uh, I mean, in general, like, I, if I had to choose, uh, a travel destination I would probably look for something um, like a natural environment that's that's my first choice always Too much of a horse. I kind of like. Them. Although that that first one that was very dynamic. I think I'm gonna keep looking at it because I like it. Maybe I could. Um... I prefer more rural areas too, but the nature of my job makes it a little difficult. Like you have to live in a city or close to a city? Hokkaido seems to have beautiful natural destination uh, compared to the south. Oh, uh, yeah. There's some nice natural spots in the south too. I don't know where I was. It's just that it's maybe. Well, I mean, it depends where you go. I was a pretty. I was in a pretty area. It's just uh, there were other problems, obviously there. But for traveling, yeah, the area where that where I was is not too bad. There were some nice waterfalls too in there. What if I add something like that? Yeah. 
I'm getting too used to swirly things because of Chase. <laughs> This would be water, technically, I guess. But this means it cannot be under the seas, so it kind of doesn't match with the whole. It's not the with the whole um, underwater theme that I've been using for the others, like an octopus, so on. Uh, tail. Let's be seaweed in this case. Unless I turn it into another, nah. I don't know. It's not a horse with diarrhea, obviously. <laughs> it's a, okay, it's some sort of seaweed. Artificial intelligence and, and forests are not mostly linked, it seems. Octopuses can go on land, it's fine, it's fine. Lang the octopus. I don't know, I might reuse the post for something else. Or I'm gonna do another one and then try to rework some of these. I, I like this one too. Oops. This one. It's a good candidate. Not this raging horse, of course. This, eh, these are similar, but... Uh, after I make this pack, I'm probably gonna do some different ones for uh, non-side scrolling, uh, for non-side battle view because I want to make something that's facing towards the camera for once. <laughs> Fighting water monsters in RPGs doesn't tend to be logical anymore. <laughs> that is also true. I just want the pack to feel a little uniform. And it's too much of a just, it's just a horse. <laughs> Maybe a little too much horse. Well, uh, let's see. I do like the pose though. As a horse, it's a pretty decent pose. <laughs> Farting horses. <laughs> um, also like Dragon Quest view style? Yeah. Yeah, because I, uh, otherwise, I, I noticed that my bias when drawing is always draw a monster that faces that direction. It's what I think about every single time, and I don't, I don't like that. So I want to do something that's a little more. Three-dimensional, a little more deep. To draw a side of you to become a master of perspective. Uh, I see where you're going there, no. No, actually, I want to practice foreshortening, that's why. I could still do it inside of you. I mean, this one also has some foreshortening. This one has a lot of foreshortening. This one has to, but um, especially if I want to lean towards uh, some or magic card work. Um, I need to draw a little differently. This is like an amoeba sort of. I 
because most of what I draw is pretty much cryptical to anyone watching. Because <laughs> I draw a lot of very quick shapes or lines that... I oh, could be a half seahorse. Nice. Let's try it as a seahorse. The seahorses do look like horses walk, like the neck. So look like this, right? That's a duck. You could do what some artists do and just change the position of the mask. <laughs> they do that? Like on... Um, for a... Uh, RPG Maker, like? I had no idea they did. <laughs> Dancing horse. What's this thing? These. Oh yeah, I've seen monster packs with side view and front view configs and they change direction of the pupils. That's lame. I see why they do that. I mean, it's not like I can speak again. I. I just add color variations of my monsters. <laughs> but that's legit. Okay, here is the aerial fishtail. Mermaid fishtail. No, this should... Well, this is not bad either. Although it looks like a chicken here. This doesn't look like seaweed. It's gonna be a little more stringy. This is not bad. Okay. Very compressed though. Very compressed. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's forget the first one. Which one do you guys prefer would prefer to continue? We'll explore a little further. Might do two or three. Other five. <laughs> oh, it's always difficult for me to do. Or to choose. But not the toilet horse. I might do it for something else, but not. <laughs> not. Not for this monster pack. Although, this could be a good idea. I might actually um, draw a pack that's made of stupid monsters. Like, all of them are gonna be stupid monsters. Like, there could be a toilet horse, um, some other, like the, the Trojan pig. <laughs> yeah, okay, everyone. <sighs> yeah, that's you, Emperor of Cheese. Uh, no, okay, I will decide then. Fine. We'll decide then. So, okay, I want to start, I want to explore. Like, comic strip horsey who dislikes mundane life. Yeah. But this is very mundane, though. For someone, I never, I don't do this. <laughs> but she said, it looks like for a newspaper comic, I yeah, yeah, I might explore it. Actually, uh, honestly, that's something I was talking about it with Cheese 
some, eh, I don't know, maybe even a year ago. Uh, about a year ago, I wanted to make a comic uh, about various things. Uh, because I sometimes they have these ideas about comic strips they never execute. And one of them was, I think it was how life would have been for Adam, for Adam, sorry, for Adam, if Eva never existed. And that would have been a really nice life. <laughs> Something very mean, just for men, obviously. <laughs> they would call, uh, he's a self-parody of it too, that's true, right? But yeah. Uh, maybe someday. It's just that I don't have enough time for all these things that I want to do. I simply don't have the time. Yeah, you remember that, cool. Do uh, something more like that. I like it. Have him out smiling and grilling burgers. That's exactly what he was supposed to do. Like chilling the whole day, no problems, no hard labor, you know. Because th th in that case, he would have never had a fight with God, right? <laughs> Thanks, Eva. <laughs> so that would be like super chill life. Like what if there was another man and, and he got busted for grabbing the prohibited fruit? <laughs> and so he would have seen those poor fellas down there on earth suffering and crying. This looks like he's got wings. That's not good. No, I don't want to. Um, well, I don't think it's going to change anything if I do show it. I think she's going to be able to understand it anyway. <clears throat> Japanese people do not have sense of humor. I know it's a bold statement. Because some of the, their products are fun, but at least none that I have met in person. <laughs> like literally no sense of humor. Sorry if there is any Japanese people watching. It's just true. <laughs> I guess different culture, you know, different. They tend to like more simple stuff, not um, subtle things like The Simpsons. I wouldn't know about great. It depends on what you mean. Some anime are fun, but in general, I don't know. They haven't met me yet. <laughs> Why, are you uh, an entertainer? I fancy myself to be an entertainer, in person at least. People tell me that. But Japan, man, that was hard. It's really hard to be there and not be able to. Tell jokes that nobody would understand and take them too seriously. <laughs> yeah, I know what this pose is now. How little will get to me. Probably gonna, let's see, I'm just gonna try once more. Like, oh, game shows? Um, the old ones, maybe. Nick the Cashew's Castle. Um... Those kind of things. Those were fun. I don't know if, if they actually took them for, you know, as a funny thing, though. <laughs> Maybe they took them seriously. <laughs> they have good prank shows. Um, I'm not familiar, I guess. There was a prank one that was not Japanese, though, that... 
uh, I really liked it was called Owl Man because there was a guy dressed to look like an owl. Like an owl. That was pretty fun. It was not Japanese though. Nakinotsukai and Downtown were genius. I wish you came out with that. Uh, I don't remember watching that. I was so distressed with Japanese TV that I cut, that I, that I simply did not add an antenna to my house when I made the house. It's a mix of pranking and punishment for laughing Batsu games. Hey, I don't know, it's just that the whole reaction bubble thing just it gave me, it got to my nerves at some point. Because it was literally everywhere. And I was tired of hearing those fake um, fake reactions, I guess. Like, oh, like, hey, like that. It's like, oh, okay, we got it the first time. <laughs> and this is pretty common. Like, if you, uh, if you go on YouTube and look for a broad in Japan, his name is Chris Broad. And he does... Um, lots of videos about Japan and he's got so many complaints about TV he's British that's how you imagine British he... uh, that. yeah the A1 that I cannot stand <laughs> really because it's like overrated it, they, they literally do it for everything. It's too much. But again, I, I'm gonna stop complaining about Japan. I'm gonna lose viewers here. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I have to admit, I miss older shows. Uh, even even Japanese. And I don't know. I just cannot enjoy the new ones, the new stuff. The last one I kind of liked, or one of the most recent ones I kind of liked, was Stein's Gate. Uh, although some of the characters are just so obnoxious to me. Understandable, uh, maybe an anomaly. These Batsu games are popular worldwide, so probably an exception. The stream is banned in Japan. Um, could be. <laughs> yeah, they cannot accept critiques anyway. Man, I don't know, I'm kind of liking this. Maybe they could be all... They look like hairs. Stein's Gate. Ah, oh, you like Stein's Gate? I don't know if we ever talked about it. It was not bad. Like, the whole concept was not bad. Because I... It, I guess it's because in general I like the idea of time traveling. Um... So, kind of hit home that. Tomorrow is the premiere of, for Primal. I'm so happy. Oh, right. You sent me the, the, the video teaser. We could have talked about I think we, we might have talked about Science Gate when I watched it. The idea was cool. Uh, it's just that really some of the characters were. Just were... Hmm. Too stereotypical, I guess. Over the top. <laughs> but I did like the, um, the, um, the way the main character evolved during the show. That was not bad. We do remember we did. Okay. Cool. I do not dislike this one. What should I do? It looks a lot like a horse. Maybe too much like a horse though. Stereotypical. 
You mean the Meow cosplay girl? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. In you know, a stereotypical and over top in an anime? Yeah. Well, not all of them were like that. Uh, at least in the past, there were some that I still appreciate that were decent, like uh, The Secret of Blue Water. That's still one of my favorite. Obviously, I mean, because it's, it's based on Jules Verne stuff. <laughs> That's one of my favorite authors ever. Maybe, I don't know. It may take another day to explore some of the other designs. I did not dislike this one. No. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, the Moy culture thing. Uh, uh, it's so interesting. In general, cutesy stuff. I'm not, not a fan of cutesy stuff. Unfortunately, anime has to appeal to the popular audience. Yeah. Have you seen Satoshi Khan's work? Um, no, I guess not. It doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. I can already use that. This is just a horse. Oh, her stream is telling me I received a hundred messages. Hmm. Cool. I do like old school anime too. What about Ninja Scroll or Vampire Hunter D? Mm, never watch those. Are they newer, older? I love both films. The second is beautiful. I might look it up. Older. Hmm. And the higher the chance of them being decent. <laughs> there is me being... Oh. Boomer. 90s, okay. I like this one too. You can have... No, this is too much Hydra. Too, too much my own Hydra. Uh, the whole tail could be... Seaweed. You know, something like that. Very slim. So it goes like that direction and then thins. Oh, by the way, you never told me if you like the caterpillar design. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something I used to do um, that I did for the first monsters, as you probably know. You know, the, um, the bomb virus, basically. <laughs> Uh, and the freeze, right? Yeah, because I, um, I removed the content uh, of the previous emails when I replied, so that's why I forgot. I did look at it though. It's really cool. You move this up.
something like that. And then this can be straightened. Not straighten it. Uh, made a little longer, maybe. I like this because it's a little more of a compact um, type of shape. I'm liking both. Let's see. Maybe if I move this. Okay. Intersects. Only intersects one of them. Something like that, maybe. I like the marlin. He don't actually. It's no more spikes and they have this sort of thing. Sail. Instead of having the full sail. And this becomes basically seaweed. No, I should probably go back. Sometimes you send messages and reattaches files you had already sent. Uh, I noticed. I noticed that's the news mail. That's why I did that. <laughs> Hopefully those did not get reattached. So this would be something like seaweed. Well, I kind of like both. I like all of them. This one too. Ah, oh, damn it. This one is also very dynamic. This is a little... I don't know, this one... This doesn't feel much like RPG-ish, maybe. Not too much of a horse. Maybe I'll just go with this. Oh, oops. This one, definitely not. It's more of a... Simple... Design. This could have... I mean, Good to have sales here. Not too much. It's a little too much of a horse still. Just it's like chimerical, I guess a little bit. This one is not so clear. Uh, are you guys hearing background noise? Like, uh, I think there's a TV in the background. No.
Gills. Gills, why not? No, just piano. Okay, cool. I'm very undecided here. Jeepers. That looks... This one is like a, a Ghost Rider horse. <laughs> it's like flaming horse, Ghost Rider version. I like it, but maybe not as a Kelpie. Just go with this. This. That one. Hmm. It's dynamic, but maybe. Properly has this fin. See all that tree right See if I clean it up just a little bit. Admittedly, I usually take much longer to choose a design, usually about three hours to sell on one, if not more, depending on when. Yeah, I don't know. It's not as... It's up to you, but I find the ones that still has all the leg but ends in official pretty interesting. You mean this? Uh, I don't know how long of a delay he yeah, has. So. If you mean this one, um, I also find it interesting. Like, in terms of the pose, especially. Uh, it might need a longer neck. I think the neck is a little on the short side. And some anatomical correction, obviously. Yeah. It's a unique take. Um, yeah, it's a little different. It's kind of dynamic. It needs some adjustment, but... Normally, you just have the lower torso be a mermaid body, yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I'm not 100% convinced by these. They're, they look like a mermaid horse, which I did not enjoy. I really did not enjoy. Aerial horse. I kind of like the pose of this. But it's very classic. This one, it's a little better. Um, eh, you know what, I might... Well, I might iterate over this. Maybe, yeah, just make it, make it a little more dynamic. Something a little less same to itself. Like, you know what? Eh, I'm kind of sold on that. I still like this. Oops. This. Okay, so it's a good one. I still like this one still. Mm. But it's mm. too static. Oh, my friend reminds me, it's time to end the stream. Okay. 
All right. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep both this and the original. And tomorrow we'll try to figure out what I want to go with. But this is not bad. Like I might, you know, do something more complicated with the tail. Maybe something like that. Why not? That's not a bad idea. It's completely random. Uh, instead of doing this, I still have that, right? Yeah. Um, I still, you know, I will still have the splashing here. Maybe something like that is not too bad. Yeah, I keep the one on the back burner, especially if you make it a fire horse and it, yeah. <laughs> and it is a back. <laughs> yeah, we're really wasting cold shots here. Really wasting very nice old jokes. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, uh, so we're gonna work a little bit on these tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna take this one as well. So that, all right, some variations, and we will see what to do. All right, so <laughs> no, it's fine by by all means. Uh, I am also being sarcastic, and that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna be on tomorrow same time, hopefully, if I'm not dead. So I'm gonna see you again uh, in tomorrow's stream with this KLP monsters, uh, monster. Well, monsters technically. One. So you guys have a good one. Cheers.